Yo, what's up everybody? It is Jfish2k here coming at you for another tutorial on how to convert 30 FPS videos to 60 FPS videos. This is a lot easier than the last tutorial up I uploaded, so be sure to stick around. Also, I did open up a spread shirt shop where you can purchase shirts. I already have one up. Go ahead and check it out by clicking on the link below. Anyway, what the first thing you want to do is click the link in the description where it will take you to seller.de slash downloads and click on this Windows installer button for Windows. If you have Linux, downloads are here, Mac right here. So go ahead and click on the Windows installer button and it's going to show you this hybrid 2016 setup at EXE. Go ahead and run that once you finish downloading, click on yes. Then you want to click on next, I agree, next, and then next. It's going to start installing. Once you get to this page where it says further installation information, click on next and then finish. And then what you want to do is double click on the hybrid icon that you see on the desktop and then it's going to show this little logo right here where it will boot up the software. The first thing you, that you want to do is go to the main tab which you should already be on and click on this uh, audio handling bar right here. You're going to be given these options. It should be on ignore by default but change it to pass through all. This means that you're going to have the audio when the video is done converting. And then once you, after you do that, you want to go ahead and click on this button right here where it says file input. It has like a folder and a right, a right arrow. This is used to import the original video that you want to convert. So let me go ahead and find that video. Go ahead and click on open. And then it's going to analyze the video. And once it says that the input is completely done analyzing. Go click on this X264 tab right here. You want to change this number right here from 4.1 to 4.2 and that that's like a bug if it's on 4.1 so changing it to 4.2 will definitely work. And then where it says encoding mode, uh, this can be whatever you want but I kind of prefer to be on this one specific file bitrate to pass. And usually what I prefer to put my bitrate on is somewhere from 5,000 to 50,000. Like the guy who did this tutorial did it on 55,000 because it was GTA. So just for this tutorial, I'm just going to put it on 5,000 because I don't know. I just prefer doing it like that. Then after you have done that, you want to go to the filtering tab. And after you do that, you want to go to the sub tab where it says AVI synth. And then you want to go to the other sub tab where it says frame and then you're going to be presented with this and then you want to click on this FPS adjust option just tick that box and here you're going to see a cell FPS uh, thing change that to interframe by just clicking on it and changing it to interframe and then you want to go ahead and change the tuning option which is right here from film to smooth so the video is more smoother and then you want to change the override algorithm or algo to smooth as well. So after you have done that, you want to change the target frame to 60. So just highlight the whole thing or just hit control A and type in 60 and then hit enter so that it becomes 60.000 or you can enter that manually yourself. So after that, you're pretty much done. You don't have to really do anything. So then after you have done that, you want to go ahead and go back to the main tab and click on this button right here next to the generate bar with the left arrow instead of a right arrow and choose the output. So I'm going to call it desktop and I'm just going to call it particles HD 60. Then click on save and then you have to after you have done that, you want to click on the button next to that with the shovel, click on that and then it's going to start to convert the video to 60 FPS. All right guys, so once it uh, the second phase is done, and once it says that job 211454 is finished, or whatever the job is, you can close the program because you're done. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the original video right here. So as you can see, look at how much smoother that is. Like it's freaking crazy. Like. Look at that, like just like the first one was so laggy. But yeah guys, that is how to convert 30 FPS videos to 60 FPS videos the easy way. If you have any problems or concerns, please comment the problem down below and I will be sure to respond with help. But anyway, that's pretty much it and peace out.